So what about uh, the differences between, so now I've got my, my bees set up and let's say I live in a suburb or even in the city. I'm not out in a rural area where I have all this land and all this space. What are some of the different considerations and constraints for doing it in an area that's, that's more populated? Very first thing is you are liable for your bees. And they're not like a dog. You don't uh -huh. get to go chase them. The, right. the bees will fly up to three kilometers to go collect pollen and really? nectar. Yeah. So they're in neighborhoods all around you. Yeah. The common courtesy in your municipality, your city will have different laws. I wondered where, if there were laws. Yeah. Well, where I yeah. live in Oakland, there's no laws at all. Okay. Right. It's uh -huh. the wild west. Uh -huh. So there's no laws. But what I did was I walked around to all of my neighbors because my concern is someone in that household is allergic. Mm. Oh, if, I didn't even think of that. Yeah, that's yeah, the of course. case, yeah. EpiPen or whatever you want to use. Yeah. So I let them know I'm keeping bees. Yeah. And it's it's a safety issue at that point. Yeah, I didn't think about the if, allergy. Yeah, yeah, it's very nice to go to them with a jar of honey because then they're <laughs> much more cooperative. Yeah, yeah, you bribe them. Yeah. yeah. But other than that, generally there's not much other consideration. Did in, you get any pushback when you went door to door? No. What I ended up hearing was that's great. Can my kids watch? Which oh, uh -huh, is yeah. like, no, you, your kids can't watch. Yeah. Or a lot of stories of how they knew people that kept bees. Uh huh. Interesting. Yeah. Because I volunteered, this was a few years ago, I volunteered, there was a temporary on a vacant lot that's no longer there, there was a temporary garden. Mm -hmm. And it was to teach kids and locals about gardening and, and they brought in some hives. Well, the hives got vandalized. Mm. And so I thought, you know, my reaction to that was, well, what, what are the neighbors weren't happy to have the hives there? And I thought, well, what's the, is it just, is it as simple as people being afraid of getting stung? Mm -hmm. Is there, or is there more to it? No. They're there's... just afraid. They've just been demonized that they're these aggressive creatures when really, unless you have an allergy, of course, which is different. That'd be different if I might die from a bee sting and there was a hive next to where I'm living. That I, that I understand. But the average unallergic citizen it's just this, this idea that we have of them being more aggressive or whatever than they actually are. Yeah, I yeah. think it boils down to that.